Welcome back. Today I'm going to be making candy corn with emoji faces. So let's get started. I'm first going to start here at the top and bring a curved line around at kind of a diagonal. Wider at the base and we'll round it across the bottom and then up along the other side to meet it back at the top. And I'm going to make another shape on both sides. So We'll do three all together, again, round it across the bottom. And then meet it back at the top. And I consider this kind of like a, a rounded teardrop shape. So we'll round it wider along the base, bring it up. And as it comes toward the top, much thinner. The teardrop would come to a point, but we're kind of rounding it off. All right, let's split up the section. So slightly curved line coming across because we're showing the, the kind of uh, roundness of the candy corn. So we'll do that on all three. Okay, and let's start making the emoji face. So this middle one, I'm gonna do a round open eye. And we'll add a curved line here for the highlight. And I think I'll be having this one to be doing a wink, so kind of like an inward arrow. And let's give it a nice wide open smile, kind of like a, almost like a crescent shape. I kind of round it on one side, it's your preference on how you wanna make that. And I'll fill in the dark area for the pupil here of the eye. All right, coming over to this face, I think we'll do both eyes open on this one, so again, Rounded circular shape, curved line for the highlight. Similar on this side, try to get them about a similar size. Curved line for the highlight, and let's fill those in. These are just a lot of fun to draw, and these can go both for, you know, through this kind of fall season. Um, so that's why I thought it'd be a good good idea to draw these now. And again, I like these open mouths, so just kind of curve line along the top. You can leave it like that if you'd like, uh, or just drop another curve line underneath to open it up. All right, for the last one, I'm gonna make this one kind of sleepy looking. So curve line, this one's super easy. Curve line on this side, and then just an opening for the mouth. So I think I'm going to add some uh, blushies too. So we'll do kind of lines along the outsides. You can add blushies like that. You can add blushies as kind of circular shapes as well, and then come back and we'll fill those in kind of a, a pinkish tone. All right, let's get into adding some color. So the colors on these are fairly easy. Um, if you are adding the blushy, you'll just need a pink. Um, the top is going to be left open and white. The middle section is going to be uh, orange, and then the bottom section is yellow. So I'm just going to first outline the orange section, that middle section. I'm just broadening up the line here as I outline. Again, I just like to outline, it just kind of uh, makes it a little neater, so I know I'm not gonna go too close to the edge, so I take my time really kind of making that line tight and, and just real neat along that edge. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back and open up kind of a broader part of my marker to fill in the, this larger space. These are fall colors that we're using here, oranges and yellows. Um, I've also seen tricolor candy corn that not necessarily are orange and yellow. I've seen them in you know lots of different colors. So feel free to you know change it up and make it your own. 
I just wanted to go more of a traditional route with with these candy corns. blushies in first and then we can go in and just go over it with uh, with the yellow and also before I get into the yellow I'm just gonna darken up the mouths here in the middle The little sleepy guy's mouth. They're all really cute. I'm not sure which one I like best. And I'm just gonna go in with the yellow again, outlining everything. So a little more careful with uh, with outlining this bottom section because we have kind of more of the the detail in the face area here. I just want to kind of go around those parts first and then we'll open up the, the broader tip to the marker and, and fill in that larger section. So I'm going to outline all three first. If you feel comfortable coloring it a different way, that's great too. However, however it works for you is, is kind of what, uh, what you want to work with. This for me works well since I have my, my uh, fine line marker open and I can just kind of go along and outline all three. Yeah, that works well. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. These are candy corn with emoji faces. Give them a try. It's a lot of fun. Bye.